Okay, let's see what we have in here. Ooh, I think it's time to get rid of this old stuff. I don't even know what's this. Hmm. Uh... Oh, this is my Tetris. Wait, what did you say? What's that? Looks like some spaceship control console. No, it's an electronic game console. A game? Can I play? Not so fast. Uh-oh. There are no batteries. It won't work without them. Give me a second. Um... Batteries I most certainly have. <laughs> Here you are. Are you sure it's of the right size? Oh, I hope so. Can you check? Sure, let's see. Um... Hey, it fits. Hmm, that's strange. Oh, come on, Sue. Is it working? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, my feta. No, I want to play Tetris so much. What do I do? Poor little me. Sammy, don't cry. Come on, I'll show you something. Ah, that's interesting. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to make a cardboard Tetris. And the first thing we need is cardboard. A DIY Tetris? Sue, are you serious? Can we really do that? I am. Sure, in our skills. <laughs> do we also need batteries? Um, no, not this time. Oh, well. Okay, let's get started. First, we need to lay out the pieces. Sue, I brought you what to draw with. Um, sorry, but I'm done already. Fine. I will help you with something else. Friends, this is what you should get. Naturally, the next step is to cut everything out. Just remember to always be careful with the cutter. That's not easy. You can always ask an adult to help you, folks. Besides, it's more fun to work together. Oh, that's true. Alrighty, here we go. I thought it would be quicker to use my slime magic. What a great idea, Sammy. Now we'll make our Tetris in a jiffy. Thanks. And these will make a firm base. You can pause this video to take a better look. While we're at it, there are lots of fun craft videos on our channel. So make sure to give a thumbs up to the ones you like and subscribe. Check this out. I glued all the pieces together. Enough with this thing already. Okay, okay. Next, we need one more piece of cardboard line like this. Let's apply some white glue to it. Now, we can put it together with our frame, like this. It's important to take all the measurements right. Sue, can we add more decor? Oh, of course. By the way, nice choice of color. Now, we need to make a few inscriptions. Your wish is my command. Thanks. That's it. Our Tetris is going to have seven levels. Awesome. Can we start playing? Not just yet. Make this bright, will you? Um, easy peasy. I'll do it in a sec. Huh? You know that it's my favorite part in any craft. That's true. Actually, I like coloring too. Okay, mine bricks done. But are we gonna have only two of them? It's not enough. Yeah, Tetris game doesn't work that way. Ooh, I've got an idea. Um, hello? Uh-huh, that's better. Would you just look at all these colors, friends? I challenge you to a line duel! Ooh, challenge accepted! Ow! Ouch! Oh no, I give in! It is all you experience with the real Tetris! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Check this out, friends. We should do the same with every brick. What? Do you really think we need them here? Yay! Ugh, fine. Now, how am I supposed to do that? Don't worry, it's all under control. Here, this will help. Hey, did you just brought everything that's green? Oh, wow, that really did help. Now, we've got some buttons here. Obviously, they are fake, but that still makes it more interesting to play our craft Tetris. Well, what do you say, Sammy? I'd say you could have never done it without me! <laughs> 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 
Nobody doubts that. Just one little thing left. We need to make an indicator to know what level we're on. Sue, can you smell that? I can smell only glue. And I can smell victory. <laughs> oh, really? Well, we'll have to see about that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness the greatest Tetris battle between two champions. Yay! Yay! Sammy, I thought you'd never played Tetris. That won't stop me, Sue. <laughs> so, who goes first? I'll be a gentleman. All righty. Yay, I did it. I mastered level one. Wow, I didn't think you're that good, Susan. But let's see how you pass level two. Let's roll. <sighs> That's the toughest. Whew, I thought I wouldn't make it this time. This is unbelievable, Sue! What else are you capable of? Level three, I guess. Hold on, hold on for a second! I'll be right back! What? Okay. I'm gonna show how it's really done! Let's see. This I won't need. And this thing, I'll put aside for now. Hey, you! Shoo! Uh-huh. Alrighty, let's do this. This comes here. What's next? Ah, uh, there you go. Very well. Ta-da! Wow, Sammy. Just 20 seconds for level seven? How did you do that? That is the most secret method of all, Susie. Roger? I mean, the Tetris King of Tibidaba taught me. Well, I must admit, you're a great Tetris player. Look at this crazy purple creature. Today, Scraps is getting some help from one of the mini makers. Hello, my name is Denzel, and I'm going to show you how to make a cool, crazy purple creature. First, you need some clay, then just roll it into a ball. Then just flat it any shape you like it, but I'm going to do mine a circle shape. Stick on the googly eyes. I just need to flap them down so they don't fall off. Then add stickers for teeth. They are really tricky, you know, but they look fantastic. And that's how you make a cool crazy purple creature. Thanks, Denzel. And you can make any crazy purple creature you want. Great stuff. Now, Leah, let's see your creature. What have you made? I've made a half elephant, half alien. Half elephant, half alien. I love that. And let's have a look at your wonderful, marvellous monster, Betty. You've given it lots and lots of googly eyes. And what's on top here? Feathers for making it fluffy. Well done, Betty. You look after your monster. And last but not least, look at this. What a marvellous mouse, Aaron. That is brilliant. How did you make your mouse? I used two buttons, two googly eyes, a pom-pom for the nose. And? A pipe cleaner for the tail. A pipe cleaner tail. Well done, Mini Makers. They are brilliant creatures. And now, for something different, follow me, Mini Makers, this way. Yeah! That's it, over here, Mini Makers. That's it, over you come. Now, you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it's going to be today. <laughs> what picture are today's Mini Makers making? Any ideas? What do you think it could be? It's a teddy bear! That's right, it's 
a teddy bear. It's actually a purple teddy bear. <laughs> Whoa! You know what that noise means? It's time for... Cam to find out which mini makers are playing today. Off you go! It's Lolita! Yay! Who's next? Here we go! It's Carla! Yay! And last but not least, off you go! It's Aiden! Yay! Well done, my friends. You've been chosen for a very special arty challenge. <laughs> Today, Mini Makers, you're going to need your arty party suits and lots of purple paint in these very special sprayers to go on a prehistoric adventure to find three dinosaurs that are hidden in this massive green piece of paper. Now, Mini Makers, you've only got until Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> I think so too. Ready, steady, go! Off you go, Mini Makers. All over. Find those dinosaurs. Keep going. That's it. Lots and lots of purple paint. Keep going, Mini Makers. You can do it. Just spray anything that's green. Oh, it looks really good. Right, back over here, Mini Makers. Wow. At the moment, all we can see is lots and lots of purple paint. We need to find the hidden dinosaurs. This way, let's have a look at your fantastic picture. Look at that. Three delightful dinosaurs. Well done, Mini Makers. But now it's time to tidy up. So go and grab the paint sprayers, Mini Makers, and I'll help you tidy up soon. We've had a brilliant arty party today. La, 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 la. Ugh. What happened, Sue? Sammy, could you bring me a drink, please? I'm so tired. Sure, Susie. Here you are. Whoopsie. All right. Carefully. Ugh. Ah! Sammy, oh no! I just cleaned up! Sue, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I wish I had minions. Little helpers. You want me to try again and you can have a rest? No, Sammy. I have a better idea, and this way we won't be at risk of spilling anything. Come on! Hi, guys. Today we're going to make a minion fountain machine for soda. Isn't that great? Sammy, could you please bring me a popsicle stick? I knew you were going to need it. Here! Thank you, Sammy. You are always ready to help. Now we need to apply some glue here. And just a blob there. Guys, be very careful with the glue gun. It's very hot. Safety comes first, my friends. You're right, Sammy. As I see, you've taken all the precautions. That is so smart of you. There's no machine without wires, right? Be careful with the soldering iron. Use it only under adult supervision. I was wondering, maybe you want to see a little trick? <laughs> wow, so neat. I wanted to make the same piece by myself. Did I do good? <laughs> Sammy, you're my great helper, of course. But look closely. Oh, I forgot the popsicle stick. But if you wait, I'll, I'll uh, just... No, Sammy, it's okay. I know what to do. Hmm. I need something to secure these somehow. Will this work? Oh, perfectly. Thank you. Let's put these rubber bands here. Sweet. I know that you're going to need this next. And right you are again. Guys, we need to make an opening in this plastic lid. We'll use an owl. There we go. Now let's make some noise. Ask an adult to help you with the drill. 
We need to insert this into the opening. Thank you, Sammy. Actually, how did you know? Ah, we've made a fountain machine before. Guys, you can find that video on our channel. And here's the glue once again. It's important to seal the edges so our soda doesn't leak. There we go. Be very careful. The glue gun is not a toy. And it's done. So guys, everything's ready for the next step. Wait, it's important to do a test run. Here, I've prepared everything. Oh, thank you. You're right, Sammy. We need to make sure that there are no leaks. All right, we assembled the first chain. We need to connect the tube and the pump. We need to test the pump, too. So I brought something. Wow, awesome. It's like you have a sixth sense. Now we'll insert this part into the bottle and close the lid. Okay, guys, are you ready? Let's roll! Whoa! Hurrah! It works like a charm! <laughs> Let's make a nice case for our machine so that we can hide all the content. For this, we need to make little pieces like this. I hope nobody here is against craft magic. Yay! And this is a little switch. That goes right here. Perfect. Okay, all right, uh-huh. Sue, wanna see a trick too? Oh sure, go ahead, Sammy. Make way for Craft Master Sam. Done! Whoa, great job, Sammy. We only need to set pumps and a battery. But first, we need to cover the wires. Right, we'll do it using this piece with a little opening for the switch. It goes right here. And we'll pull the wires through it this way. Sue, check out what I made. Let me see. This piece looks funny, like a snout. But actually, it plays an important role. It covers and protects the wires. And here comes the second wire, whoosh! And it's done. Sammy, did you do that? <laughs> I was not alone. <laughs> I think I know who helped you. You look just like one of them. Only you're pink. That was the whole point. But the minions went off to do their business. Well, something important is waiting for us, too. Let's start building the walls for our machine. We'll begin with the front wall, but I think we need to decorate it beforehand. Hmm. Sammy, do you have any ideas? Banana, banana, ba, na, na. Oh, right. We need palm trees and something for the beach. I think this will do. Just perfect. Sue, I'm done. It seems like I've got minion fever. Ah! Stop panicking, Sammy. You'd better come and help me. Let's build up more walls. Hey, Sammy, how are you there? Phew, I feel energetic and pink again. And I can't wait to see the results. Me too, Sammy. I think it's gonna be really great. All right, let's insert the tubes. Awesome. Uh, Sue, help me. Oh, sure. Oh, that was close. Oh, I think it's too heavy for you. Don't you remember what happened last time? Let's take two more. It's always nice to have a choice. Ready to have fun, guys? Wow, that was cool, right? Yeah, Sue, that's what I call magic. Thank you, that's so nice of you to say. Oh, I know what I can do while you're busy here. And done. Oh, that's even better. Sue, check out what I made. Wow, you did great, Sammy. <laughs> Thanks to these stickers, we know what we'll be putting in our glasses. This one goes here, Coke. Sprite is the second one. And this is the place for Fanta. As you know, minions are small, but rather stout creatures shaped like a capsule or a soda can. I thought it would be convenient to hide the chain inside it. Huh, that's a good idea. Oh. Sue, I noticed two holes in the bottom. I guess you need to take another can. You're very attentive to the details. This is an important feature for a craft master, but everything is thought through, Sammy. You'll see it later. Sue, uh, help. I have a little problem here. Oh, you are tangled again. Oof, thanks, Sue. It will look better on the can. What do you think? Whoosh. Awesome. Yeah, 
Well, at least I can move freely now. And dance. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Suit, there's no time for games. A little bit of fun won't do any harm. We'll insert the wire. And the legs are set. Sammy, did you do that? Of course. Who else? I don't waste time on games, you know. Would you look at this serious slime? Work hard, play harder, right? Well, yes. I can't argue with that. I decided to clean up a bit. Do we need this for the craft? Yeah, you're just in time. Now let's attach the wires and hide this in one of the minions. La 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 la. Uh, oh, what's this? I've been looking for them. We need these lids for the craft. By the way, Sammy, do you like making crafts all by yourself from scratch? Such a responsibility, right? Maybe you've forgotten, Sue, but I'm a craft master. Oh, I'm sorry, great master. I never doubted your skills. What's the most important thing for a craft master? Firm hands, of course. <laughs> That's right. Will you need the rest of them, too? Of course. Each of our minions will need his arms. That's how they'll help pour soda. Then I'm sending these arms to the minions. Whoop. Yep, that's exactly what I meant. Great job, Sammy. So, I designed the final look of our craft. Are you ready for the presentation? Yes, I can't wait to see it. The main idea of this craft is tropical holidays. After a long, hard crafting, everybody needs a rest. There is nothing better on a hot summer day than a light breeze. And a cold, refreshing soda. May I add some flowers, Sammy? Hmm. Yes, you may. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I had in mind. You did a great job, Sammy. I'm really impressed. And thanks for letting me add some details. It came out so wonderful. My work is done here. Wait for me. I'll get glasses. While Sam's off, let's take a closer look at our craft. Well, Sammy, are you ready to test our minion machine? Of course I am! Which one do you want to try? Sue, just pour me something. I'm thirsty. As you wish. How much longer, Sue? I can't wait anymore! There you go. Thanks, Sue! While Sammy is busy, I'll pour some for myself, too. Mmm, it's gonna be so great. All right. Sue, so can I get a refill? You already finished? Mix them all! There, Sammy, take it. Thanks. Guys, if you like this craft as much as I do, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss our next video. And subscribe to our channel. Bye, guys. See you soon, boys and girls. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for an arty party? We're in the party pad. It's the perfect place for a party. So, let's get arty. It's the Mini Makers. Party! Yeah! Let's party! We're gonna have a party, and look who I've invited. The shakes and straps! He's so excited, all the mini makers are partying too. But most importantly, we invite you! Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go! Let's get party, everybody party! Come on, let's dance, everyone! Let's get party, everybody party! Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go! Yay! Hello, 
Scraps, my <laughs> friend. It's great to see <laughs> you. Now, what do you think we should make our party about today? <laughs> yes, you have a think. Have you got any ideas? <laughs> come on then, Mini Makers, <laughs> come over here and have a look at the screen. Now, we're going to show you some clues. See if you can guess what our party is going to be about today. Yeah. What is it? And, oh, what am I doing there? What am I doing? Glasses and oh. Oh. What's around Mr Maker there? Lots of... Drawings. Drawings. Squiggles and doodles. What's that? A big... Oh, that's a big doodle picture, isn't it? And I'm going to give you one last clue, Mini Makers. Ha-ha! <laughs> doodle, 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 doodle. So, Mini Makers, what's our party going to be about today? That's right, we're going to have a doodle party today! Yeah! Wow, look at that! Well done, Scraps. It looks like you're in the moodle to doodle too. Keep it up. Yeah! All right then, Mini Makers, we're going to use our noodles and have a doodle party and we're going to make an arty party picture. Now, what should we use to make our picture? Bottle! String! Hi, cleaner. Colourful felt-it pens. It's some fantastic ideas there. And in fact, you've just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get Artie at our party. Go crazy with doodles to make a brilliantly coloured doodle picture. It'll be a doodly doodle. But first, we'll need some things from... <laughs> That's right! Need some card, a toy that's an interesting shape, some noodles. Wait a minute, Doodle Tube. We need doodles, not noodles. Honestly, I don't know. And we'll need some felt tip pens and some crayons. OK, then, Mini Makers, let's start off with some paper or card. And we're going to draw on this around an object. Now, you can use any object you like as long as it's got an interesting shape. Today, I'm going to use this cuddly toy. All right, then, I need a pen, though. Ah, thank you very much, Nathan. Here we go. Let's draw around our shape. Let's have a look. Wow, that's really cute. Oh, thanks, Jacob. Right, now we need to draw inside the outline of our object with lots and lots of doodles. Now, you can draw whatever you like, shapes, patterns, anything at all. A nice flower to start. And now, the feet. It's really filling up now with lots and lots of doodles. And when you've drawn all of your doodles, colour them in. It's all coloured in. What do you think, Mini Makers? Excellent. Well, thank you very much. And now, Mini Makers, you're going to get your own chance to make your arty party picture. But first, you need to put on your... Arty apron! <laughs> because it's time to... Start the... Wow, 
Wow, some great work, Mini Makers. And look at this lovely picture by Iona. What have you made? I've drew uh, around a cuddly cow and added some pink spirals and yellow stars. Wow, that is brilliant. Well done, Iona. And I wonder, has anyone else ever had any arty ideas with doodles? Let's find out. Many years ago, there was a famous artist called Paul Clay. He did all sorts of paintings and was always looking for new ways to create his masterpieces. Oh, I just don't know what to do today. Oh. Then one day, he had an amazing idea. Oh. I'm trying, I'm trying. <coughs> Quiet, doggy. Can't you see that I'm trying to have a brilliant, amazing idea? <coughs> Wait a minute, that's it. Drawing is like taking a line for a walk. <laughs> right. Paul Clay often drew his pictures by taking a line for a walk. OK, pencil, walkies. Here we go. Ah, oh, yes, right. Here we go. Off you go, go on. Yes, that's it, pencil. That's it, quick, quick, round the corner. Oh, that's it. Back, go on, run, go on, off you go. That's it. Loops, lots of loops. Very nice. Come on, come on, pencil, come on, pencil. That's it. Oh, yes! When Paul had finished taking his line for a walk, some of his pictures looked like fantastic doodles. OK, pencil, walk it! Whoa! Wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! Wait for me! <laughs> taking a line for a walk, eh? Whatever next? Now let's see how the mini makers are getting on. Now, Rochelle, you've drawn around a bunny. What colours have you used? Um, purple and pink. Very colourful. Well done. And Christopher, over here, you've drawn around a teddy bear. Let's look at that. Now, what doodles have you got inside your picture? I have a squiggly line. I have a flower. I, I have some squiggly circles. That is absolutely brilliant. Great doodles. <laughs> Now, Miriam, what's in your picture? Amazing bubbles and seaweed. And yeah. A big old whale and a fish. Oh, look at that. A big old whale and a fish. Very nice, too. Now, Jonathan, what did you draw around, my friend? I don't know, this lion. The lion, that's brilliant. Let's have a look. And how have you filled out your picture? I used lots of different bright colours. Bright colours is a great idea if you're making a <laughs> doodle picture. What's that noise? It, I think it's snoring. It, it sounds like someone's asleep at our party. Who is it, everyone? That's right, it's the shapes. And I think we should wake them up. So after three, shout wake up. Ready? One, two, three. Wake up! Let's dance, everyone. I am the shape. I am the shape. Let's party! <laughs> Come on, mini makers! Let's all dance with the shapes! I am a circle. Spin around, spin around in a circle on the ground. I am a triangle. Clap your hands in the air. Triangles everywhere. I am a square. Everybody draw a square. Draw it here, draw it there. Bounce everybody! Bounce like you just don't care! What's it going to be? Wait and we will see a shape for you and me! I am a rectangle! Yay! What's hiding behind the rectangles? Can you guess?
That's right. It's a book full of doodles. That was fantastic, Rectangle. It's time to get back on the shelf. Let's go! Hey Roger! Roger! It's time for a new crack! Oh, what happened to you? <laughs> oh, Sammy, I guess I've got a cold. Oh no, why? Who am I gonna make a new craft with? <laughs> Hold on, Sammy. I think I might have a solution. I know a guy. Mm -hmm. Oh? Hello? Hey, pal. We need your uh -huh. help here. Huh? Can you come over? Oh, yeah! Okie dokie. I'm gonna need... Ah, here they are. And also... Nope. Now we're talking. So who did you call? <laughs> <laughs> This is... this is... Hey, Mario, buddy! I always knew I could count on you! I can't believe it! Hello, Sammy! Let's go! I'll help you! Hi, guys! Welcome to the Mario world! Where is my partner? Double click! I'm here, and I'm in character, too! I even managed to bring the first piece! I'm so excited! <laughs> wow! Oof! Sam, weren't you planning to dress up like Luigi? <laughs> we'll change this during the video editing. And you'd better stay in your character. We're gonna have a super race today, guys! That's a two! So watch closely! Ah! Oh yeah! Hmm? Mario's mushroom strength in action! Wanna see the key to winning the race? We need a cool joystick to be able to reach the highest speed! Wow! Careful! It's my first drive. Uh, where's the brake here? <laughs> Your steering wheel needs a small enhancement. Let's glue these two cardboard pieces together, like a this. Vroom vroom! Hey, make way! The winner is on the track! And we're done ah, with it! Don't you think that this steering wheel needs more of an upgrade? Well, of course. Mm -hmm. ah! oh. mm -hmm. Hi Just kidding. <laughs> Do everything neatly, guys. Yay! I helped! Now it's time to put together the two ready pieces. Thanks, Sam. Here we go. Awesome! We can say we're done with the steering part. Beep beep. Mario, are we ready? I've started training on tiny race cars. Hey, say something! I'm lacking speed here! So, what should we do? We can't win any race not being able to speed up. Don't worry, we have all we need right from the factory. Well, let's check out what's in here. Oh, yup. Just what we need. Oh. And like this. Hmm. But how should we... Hmm. Ah! <laughs> so, how are we doing? Wow! Hmm. Guys, hmm. the most interesting part is yet to come! Feel free to subscribe and give us a thumbs up! There you go! Wow, so another joystick is gonna be hidden inside the pedal? Cool! Let me speed things up. <laughs> One more time. Shiver me shudders! It's like there's a speed block or something. What should we do? I think we just need to do a little more work. Ah! Whoa, what a piece we got ourselves. We just need to work it up a notch. And here's what we've got. 
this way. We need to push it well. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, this will be huge from every angle. I guess Mario will be good without me. Come on, Sam. The race is coming soon. Did you chicken out? Excuse me. Slimes are the bravest creatures, according to Slime Wikipedia. <laughs> right. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Whoosh. Yeah. We're super strong, you see. I'm even stronger than Mario himself. Then we won't need any power-ups on the race. It's a vast advantage. But that doesn't mean that I don't need help. It's heavy, Mario. Whoa. Oh! Aha! Now we're talking! Holy cannoli, we're driving! Uh, where are we going? What's the highest speed possible? I don't know yet, but this is so cool! Hey, don't you see that the racetrack is invisible? The training ground is empty! Hmm, you're right! Then we should move on to the next stage of the craft! Finals, awesome, huh? I've never seen anything like this. Whee! Well, we're almost done here. <laughs> and the main screen is in its place. Wow, Mario, you did great making that huge thing. But, uh, as for me, you're still not fast enough. Oh, seriously? What are you going to say about this? No rush with hot glue. One, two, three, and let's go! Awesome! Mmm, what else? Well, sure. Did you come up with something else? You'll see. But, huh? Me? <laughs> Let's just add some cool decor. Well, I wasn't idling my thumbs either. Check it out. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh. Well, Sammy, you're a real engineer. But I can also do something. Uh-huh. A little bit here. And... Oh, it works. Why don't we finish the decor with such a cool ribbon? Ah! Just a little bit more. Like this. Oh! Aha! Glue here. Press well. Great! Whoa! And here goes my personal logo. Now everyone will know who the craft master is here. <laughs> engrossed in the race that he didn't even notice how much time has passed <laughs> guys did you like our video today give us a thumbs up if yes and as always don't forget to subscribe to our channel yes see you later ah. hello there mr maker here at home these days, more than ever, it's really important that we check in on the people that we care about and we make sure that they're okay. Yesterday, I helped my neighbour, Sean, set up his new phone so he could video call his friends and family. <laughs> it took Sean quite a while to understand it all, but I think we got there in the end. 
Wow, he's calling me right now. What a coincidence. Who would have thought it? <laughs> Let's speak to him. Hello, Sean. Hello, Mr. Maker. What a surprise. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, no, you called me, Sean. Did I? Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. Are you sure? Yes. I must have hit one of these buttons. Oh, no, careful, Sean. Oh, Sean's cut the call off. He does tend to do that. Don't worry. I'll call him back and make sure he's okay. You definitely called me this time. Well, yes, but I only called you because you called me and then you accidentally cut the call off. Oh, that's right. I touched one of these buttons here. No, don't touch that, Sean. He's done it again. I'll call him back. I'll call him back. Hello, Mr. Maker. What a surprise. What can I do for you? <laughs> Nothing, my friend. You sit back and relax. I've just had an arty idea that I think you might enjoy. Sounds great. Make it, Mr. Maker. Make it, Mr. Maker. Hold the phone. Let's make a pretend walkie-talkie. Make it, Mr. I love keeping in touch with my friends like Sean, and it's given me an arty idea to turn this cardboard box into a pretend walkie-talkie. It will look just like a fake phone, and it will be really easy to use. Much easier than your real phone, Sean. Great. The first thing to do is find a small box that you can safely reuse, and then paint it any colour you like. Can you make this idea with any cardboard box? I don't see why not, Sean. Any small box made of card will do. But Mini Makers, this is really important. Make sure you ask a grown-up to help you find your box. And before you start painting, put on your arty apron. Oh, and like me, make sure you do your painting on top of some old paper or card. When the paint's dry, it's time to decorate it. I'm going to stick on these small pieces of fun foam. I really like this idea. Do you have to use those colours? Oh, no, Sean. You can use any colours you like. And you don't have to use fun foam, of course. You could use stickers or maybe use pens to add some extra detail. It's starting to look just like the real thing. <laughs> I know. Lastly, walkie-talkies often have an antenna on top. So I'm going to add one by carefully adding this paper straw. Now, Mini Makers, if you'd like to do this, again, ask a grown-up to help you find one of these. I'm only using this straw because it's completely made of paper, which means I can recycle it afterwards. Well done. So, Sean, what do you think? I love it. I think I'll try that today. Sean, you're upside down. Really? I don't feel like I'm upside down. <laughs> I think you've hit the wrong button again, Sean. See if you can turn the screen the right way around. And remember, don't hit the red button. The red button, you say? Oh, no, don't touch that, Sean! He's done it again. Oh, what's that noise? It, it sounds like snoring. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs. It's the shapes. Circle, triangle, square and rectangle, all snoring away. With the shapes asleep, it means no shape dance today and no singing to I am a shape. <laughs> it's a real shame, but I suppose the only way we could do those things is if I put on shape costumes and I do the dance myself. <laughs> but we can't do that. <laughs> Can we? Come on, Mini Makers, let's dance with the shapes! I am a circle. Spin around, spin around in a circle on the ground. I am a triangle. Clap your hands in the air. Triangles everywhere. I am a square. Everybody draw a square. Draw it here, draw it there. I am a rectangle. Bounce everybody! Bounce like you just don't care! What's it going to be? Wait and we will see! A shape for you and me! I am a square! No! 
Now let's make something to celebrate our friend Square. First, ask a grown-up to help you carefully cut out a large square-shaped piece of card. Then very carefully cut out lots and lots of small squares of paper, any paper you like, in any colour you like. Glue your paper squares to your big square card. Add googly eyes or draw them on with a pen. And add a big smile, perhaps with a wiggly pipe cleaner. A big smiling square made up of lots of little squares. I am a square! Thank you for coming to visit me at home today. We've had a great time. We chatted to my neighbour, Sean. We made a pretend walkie-talkie, a big square out of little squares, and we danced like a shape. Keep making things and have lots of fun. And remember, your home is where the art is. I'll see you soon. Aha! Uh -huh. I've done that. Uh, okay, let's see where this goes. That's right. Yes, I've got it. There you go. I am shut the right here. Perfect. It looks wonderful. Oh, guys, Sam is tidying up today. He's doing a good job. Hey, Sammy, are you organizing everything? Yes. When you store things, you need a certain order. Then you can always find the thing you need in no time. Oh, you're a real Sokoban. Wh what? Are you calling me names now? Why? No, no, Sammy. Sokoban is Japanese for warehouseman. It's a person who makes sure everything is in its place. <laughs> See? Got it? Oh, then it's all right. Come on! A little bit more. Hey, Sammy, did you know that there's a game called Sokoban? Shall we try making it from cardboard? Oh, did you really have to ask? Of course. Then let's go. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. That's better. Oh, hi, guys. As you probably figured out, today we're making a cardboard game, Sokoban. About a warehouseman. I've organized almost everything here. Uh, and who's not here yet? Hey, Sue! Are you coming? Yes, Sammy, in a moment. A moment? She just can't have enough of our neighbor, Roger, who's helping us. <laughs> right, here's another piece. Oh, let's see. Uh, I need to move this to make room for... Oops! Pipe pieces! Look, Sammy, Roger helped me cut them. Guys, ask an adult to help you cut the pipes. It's very dangerous. I brought all kinds of materials. Oh, well done. Bring the rest. A moment. I'm not Roger. I do everything fast. <laughs> oh, Sammy, Sammy, how can I ever compare you? Right, let's start assembling our game. First, we'll glue these pipe clips in the corners of our cardboard piece. One in each corner. Then we need to prepare our pipes. The short, thicker pipe goes over the long pipe like this. Then we'll insert it into the clips we've glued. I prepared the second one. Oh, thank you, Sammy. Let's set it in place as well. And I've also made these pieces from the clips. Wow, I don't call you Rocket for nothing. You've got super speed. <laughs> Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree. What comes next, Sue? Next, we need a part made of a plastic cap. Could you bring it in? Will do. Here you go, Susie. A part made of a plastic cap and with double-sided tape all around it. Thank you. And with one movement, we'll glue our little magnets on. And here we go. The double-sided tape will hold our magnets really well. <laughs> Look, guys. This is a really cool part we've made. That's a nice trick. Sticky tape can have its uses, right? Yes, Sammy. And you don't need to be afraid of it. Do do do. There. This part will be on the little motor. Guys, we're going to work with wires, so you need to be very careful and ask an adult to help you. Don't worry, Susie. I'll watch over you. Thank you, Sammy. Now I feel much safer. And I've already carefully brought the next pieces. Hold them a bit carefully. I'll be done in a moment. 
Perfect. Give them to me, please. One rod will go here, and our magnets will move along it. Hey, Sue, what about the second one? No guesses? Ugh. Well, I really hope not to hurry up the warehouseman. Oh, of course not. We need the second rod for the second part with the magnets. Phew. What a relief. Give it to me, panicking slime. Let's set it in place. <laughs> huh, this looks mysterious. What's the next step? The next step is to repeat the same on the other side. We'll have three motors. That sounds really awesome! There, guys! We've connected two wires to each motor. Now let's turn our base into a cardboard crate. And if you're wondering where Sam is, he's making important game pieces. Yes, yes! You can't play without them at all! Huh, and you can play without wires and motors? Huh, uh, well, don't ask! I'm really busy! <laughs> okay, okay. Look, there's a hole at the side here. We'll put our wires through it. <laughs> now we need to connect our motors to buttons and batteries. Watch closely. One black wire from the motor needs to be connected to the other one from the battery like this. Guys, be very careful. Ask an adult to help you with the soldering tool. It's dangerous! Okay, we secured all of our wires. Now we only need to connect this part to the buttons. Right here. As you can see, I've marked all the buttons and the wires with different washi tape. Not to confuse them. And this wire goes here. Now all the wires are secured. We only need to place this mechanism into a box. What do you mean, into a box? We haven't played yet and you're putting it away? Ah, <sighs> Sam, like always, you've only heard part of the phrase and you're jumping to conclusions. It's just another step. An important one. Hey, Sue! My step is almost finished, too. That's great! Wow, what do all these buttons do? Can I press them? <laughs> sure. That's awesome, but do you know what's missing? This little piece? Aww, hey! <laughs> and decor pieces too, of course. That's better. Well done, apprentice. Thank you. So let's get right to it. Look, guys. We'll use these cardboard pieces to make our game board. It's something like another box with different parts on it. Actually, it's more like a frame because the inner part can be removed and inserted back again to make the game more interesting. And here's our frame. This is the inner part, which can be easily inserted and removed. But it doesn't look much like a game, as Sam would have said. I'm saying that now. So it's time to do some decorating. Ta-da! <laughs> Let's set it in place. Make way! Play and pieces are coming! Awesome, Sammy. How did you manage to make them and not confuse anything? I had a list and a layout of all elements. Ooh, like at a warehouse? Well, what game are we making, huh? <laughs> Some people say that games are a waste of time, but on the contrary! This game helps to build up the skill to organize things. Well said, Sammy. I only need to add a few more pieces, and our game is ready. Ah, come on! Huh? What's happening? Sue, what's going on? I don't know where Mr. Sokoban will move! Oops, I forgot to draw the arrows. There, now it'll be clear. We'll draw them on all sides. What if I hadn't reminded you? What if, what if? Yada yada. It's good now, right? Everyone's pleased. The rules of the game are the following. You need to move the yellow crates to the pink spots, avoiding the obstacles. That's a piece of cake for such an experienced warehouseman like me. Then the first level isn't for you, but it's just fine for me. And over here. Ooh, around. Yes! <laughs> yes, yes! I'd like the next level, please. Sure thing. I'll just replace the inner part of our game. Hmm, something seems missing. Aha! There, 
here. It's your turn now, Sammy. Make way! Okay, how does it work? Um, ah, got it! Um, the crate, come on! <sighs> and this crate goes here, there, okay, and three more crates! Oh, baby! What? What's going on? Oh, there we go! Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, is it really the next level, not ten times more difficult? It really is the next one. Let me show you. You need to move the pieces carefully as if they were real crates with valuable items. See? One crate after another, planning all your moves ahead. And then no crate will get in the way. And Mr. Sokoban won't get stuck either. It's fun once you get used to it. Oh, here we go. And here comes the last one. Yes, victory! Guys! If you like this game, give this video a thumbs up. And I'm off to think of new interesting crafts for you. Guys, support our warehouse slime, subscribe to the channel, and write some comments for him. Bye-bye! arrived in the UK. I'm sure we'll find some arty ideas. Let's have a look around. There's so much to see here. Rivers, ships, castles, and pretty gardens with lots of plants and flowers. These trees are really nice, lovely and leafy. And they've just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Have fun with twirls by making a terrific twirly tree picture. Let's make it! <laughs> now, we'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. Hello, mini makers. Who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr. Maker. I'm Joseph. Oh, hello, Joseph. I can help you. Oh, that's great news. Everyone else, thank you very much. We'll see you soon. But Joseph, let's get making. Oh, brilliant. Joseph is on his way to help us make our picture. But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. Oh, excellent. The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our picture. We'll need some paper or card, some scissors and a pen, and of course, we need one more thing. That's right, we need a party blower. <laughs> a party blower? Scraps, how did you get here? Look, I haven't got time for a party at the moment. Take this back, please. That's it. And go find me a glue stick. Go on, off you go. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like a really good party as well. Ah, well done, Scraps. That's just what we need. Thank you. Go on, get back to the party. Oh, good dance. We have a glue stick. Excellent. We've got everything we need. <laughs> Although... It does feel like something is missing. Do you know what it is? No. Uh... I'm you, Mr. Maker. Of course, Joseph. It's you, my friend. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Thanks for coming. You're just in time to help us make our picture. It's a twirly tree picture. And it's got lots of green, curly leaves. Now, Joseph, are you ready? Yeah. Good. Are you ready? Fantastic! Let's get making. Now, the first thing we need, Joseph, is a big piece of paper or card for our background. Now, I think this will work well. We're going to use blue because it's going to be the sky. Now we need to make the forest floor. Could you pass me that, that nice light brown paper? Let's get tearing. 
We've also torn some green paper for the trees. Make sure you leave a gap at the bottom and the top like this. We need some more paper now. and We're going to cut the paper into lots and lots of lovely strips. Let's use brown paper for brown strips. And why don't you cut some strips, Joseph, from that green paper? We must be careful, though, because scissors are... Sharp! Oh, that's right. <laughs> Now we've got lots of brown strips and Joseph's made green strips. We're going to start with the brown strips now. These are going to be the tree trunks. So let's start to lay them down. It looks good if you tuck the trunks under the leaves at different angles. And when you've finished arranging the trunks, stick everything down. Our picture is really starting to take shape. But something's missing. What is it, Joseph? Salt. If you say so, music, please. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Oh. Mr. Maker? Yes, Joseph? I mean, the twirls on the trees? I knew that, really. We need to make the twirls on the trees. And to do that, we need one of our strips and a pen or pencil. We take one of the strips and just wind it around the pen. And when you get to the end, carefully slip it off the pen and you have a curly, twirly, springy shape. Now, we need to make lots of these, my friend. So, let's get twirling. <laughs> right. Keep going until you have curled up lots of paper strips into twirls. Now, stick down all of the curly twirls onto the green part of the picture. It looks good if they're close together like this. Your twirly tree picture is finished. And if you enjoyed that, why not try these other ideas too? How about adding a boat to a twirly sea with a twirly sun and clouds? Or you could even go curl crazy with a twirly bird, cat and flowers. Why don't you try one today? Thank you so much for helping me, Joseph. We made it! High five! What a terrific twirly tree picture. Thanks, Joseph.